Formula One is a fantastic sport. It's great to watch on television. When people go to the track, they are absolutely blown away by the performance, by the sound, by the spectacle. We need to not just preserve that, we need to enhance it. We need to continually make the sport better. Right at the beginning of this project, our main aim was to get cars that race closer together. Now with the current cars, as they get within sort of 20 metres or less of each other, they lose around 50% of their downfalls. And with the help of AWS, we've been able to reduce that loss from 50% to 15%. That's the car that we'll see racing in 2022. Within the teams, they use a lot of techniques, both CFD, which is computational fluid dynamics, effectively a sort of wind tunnel on a computer, and they use physical wind tunnels themselves. We try to get these cars running close together, we really need to understand a, a lot about the turbulent wake of the car. So our simulations need to have two cars in them, we need the space in between them and we need an unsteady simulation to get a, a true answer. And that's where we've ended up with these enormous models with around a half billion cells. We use a number of AWS services, including the Amazon EC2 service and the AWS Parallel Cluster. The great advantage of using Parallel Cluster is it allows us to choose how we're going to run any jobs. So within the EC2 instances, we can use the C5N if we want to spin up a job where we have a very complex simulation, we need a fast turnaround. Equally, the recent release of the AWS Graviton 2 has allowed us to really optimize other jobs and has achieved around a 30% cost saving for us at the moment. In our old environment, with just a couple of hundred cores, a simulation like that might have taken 60 hours to, to solve. Now, with the, the power that we've got with AWS, we can really solve that during a working day and throwing thousand cores at the problem really does change the way we work. Running in the cloud and running with AWS really removed all those barriers and it allowed us to run what we want, when we want and how we want. This is something I think I wouldn't have believed was possible unless I'd been able to really leverage that power of AWS and see where the future might lie.